uh, I uh, published nine opinion pieces. It was something new for me because I have never expressed so much uh, points of views uh, of my own um, and I learned a lot. My plans uh, are... I have another internship that um, starts in the mid of June and ends in July with a Slate magazine, so I'm excited uh, to work for another media organization. Um, he knows the media landscape, he knows the way we work and um, the quality of journalism in my country, so he has been able to relate a lot with what it is that I say that um, me and him talk about because he has been there, he has seen it, you know. So for me, I found that um, our relationship was going to be easier and um, it wasn't going to be a mentor, um, mentee relationship that's going to end when the program ends. This is a, a lifelong relationship that we are cultivating. I'm really grateful for everything I've did in the past six months in the USA. Um, after a hectic schedule in the US, I'm kind of taking things easier this month and um, enjoying home. And um, the program activities and everything that uh, followed, the PA and uh, of course, what I learned there uh, was just another great amazing opportunity and a great uh, time spent in the US with uh, worthwhile um, knowledge and skills that I gained. I did my PA at the US Commission for Civil Rights and that was the most, um, I would say, valuable experience for me. It's about the professional affiliation which I consider as a core piece of the program. The most important thing and why we are here is to, to work uh, for a media organization and to, uh, to, learn, to learn new practices, um, uh, new trends uh, from the US media and then to go back to uh, our media organizations and, or to implement it back to uh, our work. I'm doing my PA at the Green Belt Production Company as a research uh, intern uh, for a documentary and feature film and I'm really enjoying my time here but also looking forward to going back home uh, to reunite with my uh, family and my friends and implement all the new knowledge I gained here. I was, uh, it was one of my dream to write a scholarly research paper and I got this dream fulfilled from uh, this opportunity. Hopefully, um, I am hoping that uh, this research paper will be published in some uh, journal here by the end of July or August. Can we know what it's about? Uh, it's uh, about growing censorship in Pakistan. Initially, I was focusing uh, only on Pakistan, but my professor told me that if I want to get it published here in the US journal, then I have to give American context as well. So now I am uh, comparing the ongoing censorship in Pakistan with the uh, repression of press in the US during Sedition Act of 1798. My professional affiliation at Slate magazine, I write for a rubric called Future Tense that deals with emerging technologies. So I'm writing on uh, topics related to science and technology. Uh, for a reporter who wrote mostly on uh, social issues, um, more specifically on marginalized communities, um, writing about technology is something very new and challenging. So thank you to my editor, Tori Bosch, for supporting me and for pushing me constantly um, to go out uh, of my comfort zone. Today I just uh, published my fifth story um, on virtual YouTube. I wrote about the Japanese anime. Uh, it's a topic that I have ne never thought about uh, and I'm happy I could be able to do it. And when I go home, I'm looking forward to continue editing a book that I'm working on. Uh, it's a memoir book uh, of a Roma model, actor and um, life coach from Romania. A very inspirational story and I'm very happy I um, work on this project. I wanted to get into some learning phase in a totally new environment and also because there were some features of this program uh, 
which were uh, really fascinating like leadership skills etc and i think at this point of time in my career i was really looking forward to uh, have these skills i got to know quite a lot about that area as well and i think it is uh, very important for me uh, at this point to know more about whether i do have leadership qualities or i don't have them and if i have them how to polish them and uh, also i think it's not about the courses only it's about uh, the rest of the fellows in the cohorts that we learn a lot from it's we are so many people from so many different countries and i think this program is like a huge opening towards a whole new world of different cultures so i think every day uh, we learn something new uh, the thing that i usually didn't see in 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 suriname was more that we um, if we get an assignment we just go and take a picture or a video the difference is we don't report the story back and or write it on AZ Central that is the, another team that is doing that and we just tell the story through our photos and through our videos but you also have to tell the story within it and yes it is common but Usually when you work, um, you tend to forget that if you are doing photos or videos.